This is what our day is going to look like today. Lots of seed planting and starting and direct seeding. Blooper. Welcome to Harvesting Heritage. I'm Channing. And I'm Shelly. Welcome, Mom. I'm so excited for you to be here. And we're going to make a list of things I need your help with. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, it's early spring. I saw Laura on Garden Answer talking about doing uh, her regular spraying for her orchard. And I think that we need to do that. Uh, in my orchard, I have... Uh, two older apple trees and everything else is new and I lost half my apples to a worm last year oh. uh, which was plenty because for two people two apple trees that are at least five years plus uh, they may be ten years old I'm not exactly sure uh, but so, um, here at my house I'm a year and a half into this garden and I've zoned it so I think I have six zones. I can have a, I'm on half an acre. I have an orchard. I have the front garden, which is where my porch is. I have what I call the redwood forest, which is the side front. There's a bunch of redwoods and we haven't developed that at all yet. I have my pool side yard, which has uh, also has all my citrus. I have my raised garden bed area. And then uh, uh, below my raised garden bed and around our parking area, um, I call that the vine area. And I have my, my berries and, and yeah, grapes, grapes over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so if, I, if we split those into six sections, I think it'll be really reasonable. We can bite off what we're really trying to approach this, this weekend while I have three days off for President's Day is getting all the perennials cut back and tidying up putting it, amending my soil, and getting ready for planting season. And oh, I weed. saw some white There's flowers so much weed. That, you need, that you wanted to put around your flag. That's right. There are um, already white flowers, but felt like it was missing a little bit, so we'll plant the white. I think that's it. Okay. Okay. That's manageable. Yeah. And then from there, we're gonna move into my raised bed garden. Put the order of the raised bed gardening in the wrong order. So I wanted to, I wanted to clean them, put the rubber edging on, add soil, or cut, and plant. cut, and yeah. cut down the the existing plants. <laughs> and I said, first we clean out. <laughs> yeah. And then we put the new soil in, and then we can clean so that we're not getting our cleaned um, raised beds dirty. Yeah, so we're going to, har it's really actually harvesting. Uh, I have beets, I'm looking oh, over okay. on the side. So I have beets and I have kohlrabi and some kale. There's quite a bit actually of winter crops that are ready to be just done. Okay. And turnips the size of my head. We're going to have a roasting fest then. I think there's enough turnips in there to feed 50 people. And your chickens. Do they well, like we, turnips? We'll have to cook it. They won't eat them hard. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to harvest. We're going to weed. We're going to uh, add compost. We're going to put the rubber um, protection on the tops of them. Rubber edging. Because they're metal raised beds. Yeah, so I have the Vago uh, yeah. uh, metal beds and they come with this black uh, rubber edging so that you don't cut yourself. Cut yourself. Um, and then 
we're going to wash the sides. Because of the rain, we should leave a video of the rain coming down. Oh, yeah. Um, so my raised garden area has had a lot of change over the last couple of months. It's, uh, we had to do quite a bit of construction to add a retaining wall, and then we had to, uh, we, realized we had put DG down, and we realized when the rain came that the DG didn't hold the water in well enough, and I ended up with a river. Um, and it took out a lot of your soil. It took a lot of my soil out, and so since then we've added a French drain. A French drain the on the back end of my fence. We've added a French drain to the front of my stairs as oh. well. Um, and then we've switched the DG, made that just a base layer, and added a pebble top. top, which I think is much prettier. But the DG had splashed up quite a bit onto the sides of the raised yes, beds. Yes, so it's quite dirty. Yeah, it just doesn't look polished like it and, it and it won't um the new pebbles won't splash up Correct. uh we can possibly work on draining the fountain and getting that restarted okay and then if we finish all of that we can start some seeds <laughs> uh your greenhouse needs to be cocked it um, does not all, not the whole thing because most of it was done, but the rain showed you where you needed some extra. Yep. What else? The garden is outside the window, so we're trying to think of things that we need to do. Just general pruning out there. Let's get started. Okay. All right. Hi there. Welcome to Harvesting Heritage. <coughs> 